Hello and welcome back to IT Master Tech News Channel. Today we will continue the Linux series installation on the Dell XPS 8 years old laptop. Currently we have the Deepin last one Linux installed here. I will tell my opinion this one is not good enough for this uh, version of the laptop and uh, it's not working that much smooth as it was an elementary OS. Today we will install the Linux Mint uh, version of the uh, Linux which was based on Debian and Ubuntu and let's get started. Let's get started and see how the Linux Mint will work on the Dell XPS L321 uh, 2012 model laptop so let's begin here is we are already uh, creating the bootable usb flash drive uh, distributive is linux mint 20 cinnamon 60-bit version and we are using the rufus to create this usb drive and we will go back to the our laptop and start the installation so our flash drive is ready with the Linux Mint distributive is already installed. We will put it to the USB drive of the Dell XPS laptop. Okay. okay, we are in. We need to reboot the current system. And hit F. Hint F12 for to entering the boot menu of the Dell XPS series laptop. After we are in boot menu, we are going to USB storage. Start Linux Mint, start in compatibility mode, hardware detection, boot from local drive, memory test, start Linux Mint. Okay. Let's see what we have how it will go start means run from drive or start means start installation the logo it's uh, very nice let's see how is the booting going flash drive is blinking it means it's reading from that screen still the blank but something happened in the background okay It started from the USB drive. Ah, okay. There is a something different from the others. It started from the USB drive, but it has a install Linux Mint. Let's tap that one. Very strange installation. I never saw this. Okay, leave it English. Continue. English US. I will connect to my Wi Fi. Let me type the password real quick. Okay. Let's see if it's going. Continue. Install multimedia codecs. Let's do that. And continue. It's pretty nice, pretty easy, user friendly. Every user can do that. There is no need of the any kind of IT or technical skills. So I think uh, average user can do this. Install Lilex Mint alongside with Dpin. We don't need. We choose Erase Disk and install Linux Mint. And then install now. Warning, everything will be deleted. Okay, we don't have to lose anything in this machine. This is uh, for test purposes. And then let's see what's going on here. It's, the process is going in background again. It's choose the 
location automatically because I have connected to my Wi-Fi. Okay, let me type the information here and we will continue. Installation has been started and it's going copying files. Let's not waste our time and I will come back after it will finished and show you the final installed version. So we reached to the part when the distributive is downloading some language parks during the installation, but it's still ongoing. So let's come back after it will near 200%. I think we are close to the end of the installation. And let's see if this is the final step. Installing system, downloading packages some packages which the 12 seconds remaining i think this will be fast and then we will see the final state of installation and after the rebooting we will have the dell xps running linux mint on clean and fresh install so doing some Packages here, it's going, the flash drive is not blinking, it means everything is copied to the internal SSD. And that's it, we are done. Let's restart now. And meanwhile, we will remove the flash drive. Okay, it says please remove and press enter. So we will boot the clean installation. An eight years old laptop, which has a Core i5 CPU, four GB RAM and one 28 gigabytes of SSD. Let's see how well and smooth is uh, Linux Mint version 20 is running on this machine let me type the password and we are in very first boot connection established do not show this message again welcome to linux mint new operating system we don't need it show on the next tab. We close this. And here is how it looks like. Here is the launcher. The Firefox browser embedded in system settings, terminal, files. This is a, some kind of explorer, file explorer. Yeah, lock screen, logout, and quit or shut down. Software manager, here we are checking what's installed and what we can install. It's some kind of App Store or Microsoft Store. Generating cache. And they, I assume it has a, ah, there is a security updates. Very good. Do you want to switch local mirror? Yes, cancel, and let's see what else we have here, Firefox browser, it's going to the Linux Mint website. And computer icon. Samsung SSD, file system. This is pretty much this, guys. Stay well, stay cool. See you in the next one. Peace.